Hey YouTube, Shugun Shobi here with a review of the Samurai Sentai Shinkenger Mogyu Bazooka. Um, it's a really cool item. Uh, to my surprise, I really wasn't going to pick it up, but it was on the CS Toys Overstock sale, so I could get it uh, with shipping for about 40-ish maybe. Um, I need to check my receipt again. It might have been cheaper than that. But um, it really, really, really nice item overall, particularly because I got the Shinken Maru at the same time, and um, I had the Inro Maru already thanks to Eugene, so um, I could form the super whatever, the super awesome sauce. The Super Shinken Maru Seto Ad thing. Yeah, so um, anyway... Box right here is kind of big for my camera. Mogi Bazooka, Super Shinken Red here. Uh, firing the Bazooka with the Shinken Mario in hand. Contents of the box. Um, here it's just going through the Mogi Bazooka's features. You insert a disc right here. Um, the horns flipping up, pulling the trigger. And then the combination with the Super Shinken Maru. And uh, fun stuff like that. Awesome. So, uh, top of here is just Shinken Maru upside down because I'm stupid and, uh, the box is too big for my camera frame, I'm sorry. So, anyway, here is the good old bazooka himself. Uh, let me take out the disc at first. So, uh, really, really cool. I like it. Um, lots of detail. It's a lot of heft. Uh, there's a lot of heft to it, particularly when you combine it. Um, he's got his little goofy face down here. He's just kind of like, huh. And uh, the horns are nice, they're detachable, there's lights right here, and right up here in the barrel. Um, a lot of empty space in this mode because of how it uh, combines. But it's still really hefty and uh, a fairly decent size. I mean, it's not as big as the show, but for a, for a roleplay gun, it's still really hefty. And, uh, and that's cool. So anyway, let's turn it on. Boo! Um... <laughs> When there's no disc in there, it just does this. So basically, it's kind of like you're milking a cow wrong and it's really pissed at you. Um, because there's no disc in here and it can't work without a disc. So let's take the uh, Saishu Ogi Disku, drop it in, and then doing it wrong. So you get that cool noise and now you can actually shoot things. Oops, covering up the speaker. So you have that noise when you just press it really quick and when you hold the button down. You get that noise. So uh, those are the two noises that it has in normal mode and then when you take out the disc. You get kind of like a power down feature. It, it sounds like a, a remix of the uh, of I think the Kabuto um, removing the Zector noise. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but that's what it sounds like to me. So that's about all for the bazooka on its own. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab the Shinken Maru and, uh, and combine the sucker. Thankfully, I have the Shinken Maru right here. Um, to make the Super Mogu Bazooka, you take the Shinken Maru, um, sorry for that glare, and, uh, attach the Super Disc onto the, sh uh, hilt. Just like that, um, I'll, I'll turn it on just for kicks. Uh, not that it really matters. Then take the uh, Inro Maru, which I already have open, and combine it. Just like that. And um, pop it. That's nice. Pop in the Saishu Ogi disc. So you get that, and when you spin it, you get this noise. fun. So I'll uh, pop this tray open right here. Can I get it situated? And then press down. Cover that up for a second so I can talk. Um, so the, it'll make that noise and I'll start doing this like kabuki dance music. Um, so it'll keep doing that until you press the trigger. So let's press the trigger. And then you can repeat that one more time by pressing the trigger.
really cool. And uh, you can still do the Shinkan Maru and uh, in roll Maru sounds by spinning. So that's a bonus, I guess. Um, I really, really like this combine mode, despite the fact that uh, the in roll Maru is really, really large. Uh, compared to everything else, because the Inro Maru is actual scale-ish, and uh, everything else is really tiny. So the Inro Maru looks a bit off, but it's still really cool. It adds a lot of heft, in fact. It's kind of difficult to hold with one hand, but um, it, it it's still doable plenty. I mean, I'm doing it just fine. But uh, it is really heavy, but uh, it looks really nice. The horns go down straight when uh, you put the Shinka Maru, and there's a bu uh, button in there. And that Oops. And that uh, activates that noise. So uh, let's take, take a quick look at his horn fell off. Put his horn back on. Just like that. Whatever. It's a really nice item altogether. Um, so like, like I said in the Shinkama review, if you have all three... Um, definitely p pick each of them. Uh, that doesn't make sense, but if you have the Shinkamaru and the Inromaru, get the Mogi Bazooka too. Um, it's a really nice addition and kind of makes the Shinkamaru worth it. Um, so that's my thoughts. Um, if you like it, get it. Uh, you can check out a photo gallery for this gun if I can manage to photograph it properly. At flickr.com slash photo slash shukanshomi. And of course, check out the blog at shukanshomi.wordpress.com. For all the latest news, updates, and release dates. And of, uh, of course, check out our Riders, Rangers, and Rambles podcast at uh, shugunshinobi.podbean.com where we bring you all the latest Toku news in the craziest way possible. Subscribe via iTunes or the RSS feed. So uh, take care and have a great one.